Welcome to a rainy day here in Manila, the capital of the Philippines. And today we are going to explore different sites of Metro Manila. I'm going to join a tour today. It's going to be for around four hours all afternoon. I'm very excited. Feel free to join me today. You are the tour guide? Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Fernando. Fernando? Yes. Fernando? Yeah. Okay, nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Hello, oh, nice to meet you. Mr. Kane, ma. Yeah. He's from Korea. Ah, from Korea. Okay. Nice. Ah, nice to meet you. Hello, hello. I'm from Germany. Oh, Germany. Germany, yeah. Are we going to pick up more people? No. No? So only the two of us? Only the two of us. Oh, okay. Almost feels like a private tour then. And this is the street name to the American name, Mackinley Avenue. This is mm. the Bonifacio Global City. Yeah. Look like similarity mm. to the US Manhattan. So this is like one of the richest areas in the whole Philippines then, I guess? No, no. As mm. of now, no. Yeah. this is one of the best. Mm. But 1960s, the new government, 964 hectares of land, it was privatized. And Ayala, the mega world, and some multi-billionaire businessmen in the Philippines took over the land and mm. built their own designated new high-rise building mm. so that's why Bonifacio Global City BGC. is uh, yeah. one of the most expensive living city in the Philippines but yeah it really looks like a, like a Manhattan, Manhattan yes. like a big US city all the skyscrapers here the very right roads exactly it's super clean here yeah. you don't see electricity wires yes everything it's underground so this is the road uh, where all the billionaires live yeah side uh, by the, side so the richest people of the Philippines are living in this street right uh, with the skyscrapers in the background, the BTC area. Here you see there are all these uh, walls and fences here, so the, yeah. the rich people like their privacy. Yeah, privacy. Yeah. Every gate they have their own private security. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, every house here is uh, behind a big gate, behind big fences, security everywhere. The name of the road is McKinley, McKinley Road. McKinley, McKinley road. Avenue. And in case you are interested to see the booking process of this tour, let me show you quickly. Okay, so I found this tour on a website called Get Your Guide. On that page, you can not only find tours in the Philippines, they have over 60,000 tours and experiences in almost 4,000 destinations worldwide. You can just type in any location on their website and find available tours and experiences. If I type in Manila, I see all of these offers, for example, but I can also type in, let's say, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and I see lots of available tours and experiences there too. And yeah, the booking process on Get Your Guide is very simple, easy, straightforward, and you can also do it via their app. And the tour that I do in this video even had a pickup service available that was included in the price, which also made it super easy and convenient for me. And I also did another tour that I booked on Get Your Guide. It was a bicycle tour around the historic part of Manila, which I really enjoyed too, and where I learned a lot about the history of this town. And yeah, it can be fun to explore new cities on your own but I also really enjoy to do tours like this where you have an experienced tour guide who can tell you facts about the places the history or some funny stories here and there so you actually learn more about the places that you are visiting and if you are planning your next holiday or you would like to get to know your own city your own country a little bit better check out get your guide I will link it down below and if you are in Manila and you would like to do the same tours that I did I will also link them down below. And now let's get back to the tour. Okay, welcome to the American Memorial Park. Yeah. We speak the, the group of American military who sacrificed their life mm -hmm. to help to fight freedom. They are yeah. from far, far away. Okay. But they came to other Asian countries mm -hmm. to help against the invasion of Japanese during the time okay, okay. of Second World War. So this is the hallway, but look at the grass in the center like a green carpet side by side the alignment of the mahogany tree and the cross is a white cross is imported from italy 17206 there are over 17000 of these white crosses yeah the here. white crosses what is your name by the way changhi changhi yes okay where in korea are you from huh? where in korea are you from we are in korea yeah i live in Puhang. Oh, the southern part of the southern Korea. Part. Uh -huh. ah, okay. I only know Seoul un and Busan. Yes. That's the only <laughs> two, two cities I know cities. in uh, Korea. <laughs> <laughs> two famous cities in Korea. Yeah, it looks like a really well maintained and peaceful place. And of course, it's always not easy to uh, 
yeah, to film in places like this. It's a war memorial, so you gotta be respectful here. So I probably will not film that much here, but uh, just to give you an impression of this place. And all these walls here are full with names of yeah, fallen soldiers. And you saw all the white crosses everywhere. So uh, yeah, peaceful place, but also with a, a lot of history, you know? All names engraved in the wall. So on your left side, this is part of the Philippine Naval Forces and an American Naval Forces who died mm -hmm. and missing during the Second World War. So on the left, uh, right side, this is part of the Air Force, the mm -hmm. American Yusapi Air Force, and the Philippine Scouts belong to the mm -hmm. American military during the Second World War. And you said there are thirty-six thousand names. Thirty-six thousand names in graves wow. in the walls. And yeah, here we have uh, thousands of these crosses and every single one of these crosses has a name written on it. And you can also see that we're not only having crosses here, there's also one star for example over there and I see a few more in the background. Alright, ah, thank you very much. Okay, so this is uh, Marcati now. And what is the name of the road again? Uh, Ayala Avenue. Ayala Avenue. And Ayala was one of the multi billionaire Spanish Filipino. Mm -hmm. Because the ancestors of Ayala family is the owner of more on most of the land of Makati before. Yeah, I can see like every second mall in all of the Philippines is named Ayala. What else do they own? Malls, uh, Globe Telecom, and uh -huh. also the some uh, business like um, BPI, Bank Philippine Islands. Mm -hmm. And also BGC where we just BGC, been to. BGC, some of the building there is part of their properties. Okay. I see a big difference here compared to BGC. Here all the electricity wires exactly. are, no? are not underground. Yeah. You can see them all around the parking, here. The parking, the parking. Yeah. In the streets. Yeah, it's funny that you just take a 10 minute ride from BGC to Makati and it feels a little bit like a different country almost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. a very different area. And I think it will feel more different like yeah, in the more next... More on in Manila. And more on, now we're going it to was Manila. In Manila, more on yeah. side by side, yeah. parking, yeah, right. any kinds of public transportation, rumble in the streets. Yeah, here we have tricycles. This one is not allowed to Ayala, only in this area. Yeah, I, oh, I was actually always wondering why in BGC you can't see tricycles. No. They are not allowed there, right? They are not allowed there. And also jeepneys are not going inside, they, they are only in... They have their own designated jeepney, that this jeepney allowed to across there. Ah. But they have a selected street only. Yeah, right, but not everywhere in BGC, street. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because I remember one time before I asked a tricycle to drive me through BGC <laughs> and he said, no, no, cannot. Cannot. He's not allowed to go into BGC no, with no, a tricycle. But, uh, you know, there's street vendors, no, sealing their in the streets. Street vendors, yeah. yeah. You also don't see that in BGC, that's right. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we just spent some time in the traffic of Manila. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a rush hour traffic now, so uh, traffic in Manila is not the best. <laughs> is the traffic better in Korea? Bad in the Seoul area, but yeah. I, I'm now living in the Seoul area, so it is quite yeah. It's been a long time to experience <laughs> this kind of terrible traffic. So in Seoul, it also gets chaotic like this. Yeah. yeah okay. Huh, I want to visit Korea one day as well. <laughs> I'm very curious to see Korea as well. So this is the monument dedicated to the Philippine national hero. That's why even the park got his name, Rizal Park now. So we have a big Filipino flag over there. And the tallest flagpole in the Philippines, 150 feet above the level. The tallest one in the Philippines? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like a mother of Philippine flag, the symbol uh -huh. of freedom. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a huge flag. Check it out. It's now that? raving in the wind. The color, color blue is for purity and freedom. The white color is the the fraternity equality to fight against the Spaniards. Huh? The three star is symbolizing the three groups of island, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Oh, okay. And oh, the sun, uh -huh. you see the sun yeah. with the eight rows. The eight rows is part of the eight provinces in the Manila unite together to rise up to fight against the Spaniards after the exhibition of the oh. Okay, so this is the statue from uh, the front. And we have two guards, and Fernando just explained these are 
military guards and they are working here for four hours every day just standing still in front of uh, the national hero here and it's like uh, like an honor for them to uh, yeah, guard, guard this national uh, monument here, the national hero. How do you say uh, thank you, goodbye in uh, Korea? Uh, 감사합니다. Thank you. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. 안녕, 안녕. 안녕, 이계세요. 안녕? Ah, oh, okay, okay. 안녕하세요. <laughs> okay, maybe I remember when I traveled to Korea. Yeah, okay. yeah try, try. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, thank you. All right, she actually has to leave the tour earlier than planned. So it's turning into a private tour now for me. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. So this is the entrance to Intramuros. Yeah. And Intramuros is like the old town of Manila. The old, the center of Spanish government, the capital of Philippine government is Intramuros. So Intramuros uh -huh. is the capital of the Philippines during Spanish time. And it's surrounded by it's these surrounded old walls. By walls. That's ah, it. Yeah. Within the wall. Okay, so this is like a little city inside the walls. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, I've never been here before actually. This is the capital of Spanish power. <laughs> So I guess this area is then like the historical site of Manila. This is the history began. The history, where the history of Manila began. Yeah. Before the Spanish came, Manila is Manila. Yeah. So inside the gate, this, this, this is part of Manila, but the center of Manila is there. Uh, the Spanish Medilla Opus de Ligas Pit found Manila 1571. 1571. And they built uh, one of the best military uh -huh. defense sports in Diago. Uh -huh. So is this an original cannon? Yeah, it's funny. But original from a few hundred years ago. Yeah, 1500s. Oh. First the cannon uh, gunpowder, after the gunpowder, the cannonballs. Then you fight the fire in the small hole like a piston. Yeah, then yeah. True to the target, if the bullet landed, nothing happened. Uh -huh. But this one is the 422 millimeter bombs of the Spaniards using their this one. If this shell landed, they explode again. So more on high tech. Yeah, it's incredible that uh, human beings built this weapon a few hundred years ago. And now it's uh, still here in a park a few hundred years later. And these are the walls that are all around in yeah. Tremorous? Oh, yeah, it's part of Tremorous Hall, but this mm -hmm. is the oldest one. Man. This is the mm -hmm. first, the oldest fortification first before they built the walls. So these walls are all still original? Yeah. They are not being rebuilt? 70%. 70% is still original. Okay. Oh, he just showed me a picture. This is from the Second World War. Yeah, so this is a German tank of US. Mm -hmm. Wars took inside. That's why side by side is damaged. Yeah. The upper portion collapsed and it was rebuilt again in 1980. Oh, I really liked pictures like this. So you yeah. can see the historical <laughs> picture like this. Yeah. There's a tank driving through and then the original gate yes. that you see on the picture is over there. Yeah. So you can see like on the top, for example, they rebuilt a little bit. I see many uh, locals here, so it's also a popular place to visit from locals or for locals. This local is part of the tour that they want to go to the what is the history of Intramuros. So Filipinos like to come Filipinos here as well and to see it. To oh. see the actual. Yeah. Because Filipinos always see in the pictures, mm -hmm. always seeing about what is the Intramuros. If you want to go to come here, what is Intramuros? Yeah. What is the history of Intramuros? Huh? So then the picture that we just saw, then there was a tank right here. Yeah. Driving through it. And driving through. So that was then like 80 years ago in the Second World War? Yeah, Second World War, like 80 yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So this is the wall destroyed by the Sherman Tower. But now like a gate. Yeah, yeah, okay. So welcome for Tiago. So that's the, the guy we saw on the, the, the statue, the, park, right? the, the monument. Gate, yeah. And he's the, yeah, like, like a national hero. Yeah, he's, he's okay. our national hero. Mm -hmm. And he was, uh, before he started to walk, uh, before he was, he was in prison in Port Santiago, 56 mm -hmm. days. So that's six. where he spent his final... Yeah hours of his life yeah. before he was executed yes. in the park over there. Spent. So this is the old wall. Yeah. Can you walk all around in Tremorous? Uh, you can go down in Transfer, you can walk. Oh, okay. Not all the okay. Not all the place. Yeah. But they have another one beside the building you can walk more on. Yeah, so this is the original Manila. The old parts of the town. The old walls here. These bricks have been here for several hundred years already, that is always incredible to think of, right? Human beings built this hundreds of years ago and now we can walk, still walk on top of it. I really enjoyed the tour today. Okay, have a good day.
Bye bye, bye bye. Very interesting to see these two sides of Manila, the modern posh area of BGC, the old historic parts of Intramuros. So I really enjoyed this. And yeah, if you want to do a tour as well, no matter where in the world you are, check out Get Your Guide. If you want to do the exact same tour, if you are in Manila, I will also link it in the description down below. And if you haven't seen my previous video, check it out right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.